Hi, I'm Jeanette, and I'm gonna teach you what's going on in your brain. And let me tell you something, it's not just going on in your brain, it's going on in all of our brains. Our mom's brains, our dad's brains, our grandparents' brain, our sister, our brother's brains, even my brain. So let's look in our brains, okay? This is our spinal cord. This is the inside of our brain, the lower part, where we carry our feelings. And then this is the higher part, our thinking part of our brain. So let's open our brain and see what's going on inside, okay? So when we open our brain, you can see I have a little animal here. And I like to call my animal my little lion. You can call your animal part of your brain whatever you want, snaky part, a bear part, whatever your favorite animal is. And in our, this part of our brain, our animal part, when he gets scared or stressed out or has really, really big feelings, he's gonna do one of three things. One of the first things he might do, what would an animal do if he gets scared or stressed out? Do you know? He might run away. And there's a second thing yeah. that he might do if he gets scared or stressed out. Do you know what that is? Hmm. He might bite. He might bite, attack. Do people ever do that? I know I do sometimes. Sometimes I yell really loud when I get scared or stressed out. Sometimes that happens to all of us. And there's a third thing that our animal part of our brain does when we get scared or stressed out, do you know? We freeze. We don't know what to do. We feel helpless, hopeless, and we just stay there and we have all these big feelings and we don't know what to do. We can't think, that's what happens. Does that ever happen to you? I know sometimes that happens to me. However, because we're not animals, right? This is just an animal part in our brain. There's another part of our brain and that's our thinking part, our talking part. Hi, hi. That's the part that can tell us what to do to take care of our animal part of our brain. It can say things like I messages, I feel scared, I feel mad, I feel scared. And it can tell us what it's feeling. And the second thing it can do, not only tell us what it's feeling, it can tell us what it needs. It can say, I need affection. And affection is I need a hug, I need a kiss. And we can ask our parent or whoever is taking care of you to get that need met. And your parent or whoever's taking care of you will give that to you. They may not always give you what you want, like an iPod or an iPad, but they'll give you a hug or a kiss. And there's another A, which is a need, that you can ask when you're having a feeling. And that is, I need attention. And attention is I need someone to listen. Just hear me. You may not get what you want, but you'll get your mom or dad or whoever's caring for you their listening ear and they can hear you. And there's another need, and that is you can say, I need alone time, or I need a break. I need to take a walk because I'm having really big feelings. And that's a need too. And you can ask your mom or dad or whoever's caring for you and say, I need a break. I need some alone time. And you can go do that. And that's the third A. And there's another A. And that is, I need appreciation. And do you know what appreciation is? It's somebody telling you you're doing a good job. And we all need that. I know sometimes I need that too. When we can name it, we can tame our animal part and give it love, safety, and feel secure. And we can all do it, and I do it, and I know you can do it. So good luck, and I'll see you soon. Bye.